So let's go back into our code behind and create our delete, our road deleting method. Be protected void company grid view road deleting object sender grid view delete event args e string company id equals label company grid view dot rows open bracket e dot row index dot cells zero dot find control edit company id label dot text oops Now let's delete the company. So then try catch. If company that company status label dot text equals company has been deleted and display company information again if it fails company could not be deleted in the ASP.x file, let's add on row deleting equals company grid view row deleting. So let's add our edit and delete buttons like this. ASP command field show delete button equal true causes validation equals false ASP command field show edit button equal true causes validation equal false so let's test it let's edit let's call this he wants to be one two three and he wants to change that to 1500 let's update go one two three update let's let's delete it and it's deleted let's add it back there it is so let's add filtering to our to our page we're going to create a table looks like this it just basically captures what the user wants to filter on in our company data access component let's go our get company information function and it's going to now change to accept a parameter 
called filter. We're going to change the select statement where company name like company name. And we're going to add this parameter command dot parameters dot add company name oops In the code behind page, we're going to go to the display company, and we're going to add string filter equals plus filter text box dot text. So if filter string dot empty we'll just set it to retrieve everything and then change the parameter to filter. So let's test it. Let's filter on everything with a 1 in it, or with an L, or with a T, or just make it blank, returns everything.